Alright guys, so here's a little trick. Whenever you are asked to find the equation of a graph and they give you the x-intercepts, then it's very easy because here's the x-intercept. Now, so those x-intercepts are minus 1, 3, and 4. So what you can do is we know that a cubic graph is supposed to have three x-intercepts. So what we can do now is we can make three brackets and we can say x plus 1, x minus 3, and x minus 4, okay? Then what we do is we say that that's equal to f of x, but then always remember that there should be this random little a in the front. Always remember that when you are asked to find the equation of a graph. Then, when you have to find a, you substitute in a random point that you haven't used yet, and that would be this one, for example. So you could put the 12 in the y's place, x in the 0, I mean, 0 in the x's place, then this, these three brackets, just type it all in on your calculator. It's 1 times by minus 3 times by minus 4. That's just going to give you 12. And so we're going to actually end up having 12a. And so a is equal to 1. So if you did this by yourself and you got a, or you left out the a, but you still ended up getting the same answer at the end, that's because you were lucky because a was equal to 1. But in a test, they are still going to mark you down because you haven't done it properly. Okay, so we know that a is 1, so we don't actually need to put it there because a 1 doesn't do anything. Now what we do is we just multiply these brackets together. And so I'm going to multiply the first two brackets together, and that would give you x squared minus 2x minus 3 eventually. You might do it the longer way. That's absolutely fine. And then we're still left with x minus 4. Now I like to put the x minus 4 in the front. It's always nice to have the smaller bracket and then the bigger bracket. Makes it a bit easier. Okay, and you guys know how to multiply this all out, but I'm just going to do it. 2x squared minus 3x minus 4x squared plus 8x plus 12. We then put the like terms together. That's x3 minus 6x squared plus 5x plus 12. And so f of x is equal to that. So the main thing I want you to take away from this lesson is that when your x-intercepts are given, turn them into brackets. But Kevin, how does that even work, you might be thinking. Well, guys, if I told you that we had some type of equation that looks like this, what would you say your three answers are? Well, you would say x is equal to minus 1, or x is equal to 3, or x is equal to 4. Well, guys, that's exactly what we have. x is equal to 4, x is equal to 3, and x is equal to minus 1. So if they give you the three answers, reverse the process by making three brackets but then just remember to have an A in the front.